Hello all, I hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to see how to track a field history with a workflow rule. Uh, this should be useful, especially when we exceed the history tracking limit on the object in Salesforce. By default, Salesforce is giving us uh, 20 fields to track per object, but uh, I'm sure we will exceed that limit at certain point of time. Uh, if you want to uh, track more fields, then you can reach out to Salesforce support team to enable uh, additional field tracking. But they would, uh, I think they they are charging more for that. Um, so in this video, we are just going to see how to track uh, a small fields, like uh, if you want to uh, track the status or if you want to track the account change or something. Uh, you, you could use a text field where you can write the uh, history tracking with a workflow rule uh, by using a different formulas here so that's what we are going to see here so yes let's get started so this is the use case that i'm going to uh, use in my video like so i want to track the status of the case so whenever the case status change I have to track the status change with the timestamp. So I'm I'm going to do that in this video. So I'm I'm in Salesforce. Uh, it's it is one of my developer org. So for that I, I'm I'm just on my case object. I'm going to create a new field to, to track the field history. So let's select the data type as text area long. So it will have more characters limit so that you can add your status changes, right? So you can add uh, up to this character limit. But eventually this workaround will not work if you are exceeding that limit. But for uh, uh, just to have this uh, workaround, we can use this field. So choose this field data type and click next let's call this as status history tracking and next i'm going to add it in all default profiles and i'm going to add in all the layouts click save okay we have our new field let's go to the workflow i am creating a new workflow rule here let's okay it should be on our case object next So or case status and here uh, you have to uh, very careful in this evaluation criteria you have to choose created and every time it's edited since we are going to use a prior value function in our field update formula so uh, that prior value will not work in this option created and anytime it's edited to subsequently minute criteria so it will not work in this option so we have to choose created and every time it's edited and i'm going to select the formula so here um, whenever the case status change we have to uh, do the field update so i have to choose is changed function inserted and the field is status so since it is a standard field i just gave without any extension for custom object so let's check the syntax and no errors save and next okay here we are going to add a new action so it should be a field update Yield update uh, 
and then it is on keys so status history tracking this is the field that we are going to update and here we are going to use the formula so i have this formula here and we have to add that api name of the new field So let me break down the formula. So it will first write the field. So uh, whatever it has in the history tracking, it will be first appearing. It's so like it will be first writing here. And then we have a break. Uh, this function is to uh, break this line and uh, start on the next line. And here, pre a value of status. So when the status gets changed what is the prior value that will be uh, right uh, that, that will be displayed here and last modified date so the timestamp of the prior value so that's what we are going to do uh, in this formula let's save it and let's go back to the workflow and activate it so let's activate okay it's done so let's go to any case record and refresh the screen to see your new field is displaying there okay here it is status history tracking this is our new field let's test this so the status is new now i'm going to change it to working okay so see here it is printing so the prior value is new and the timestamp whenever it is updated and then let's see now i am moving this to escalated from working see it's keep on adding so that's what this workflow rule will do so first it will print the status history tracking it will have your uh, previous value and the new value so it will get printed first and then there will be a break then the new uh, prior value will be added so it will keep on growing so yeah so if you change it again to working so it will have the prior value and the timestamp so yeah it will like this it will keep on growing so this this field is like as i said earlier this status field will not be changed as um, like so we'll have some new in progress or um, pending closed right so it it will not have uh, we need not to have to update uh, often that field so we will not have uh, more values will be added in this history tracking field so in this kind of scenario you can use your new uh, field and you can have your new workflow to have uh, this kind of workaround when you are exceeding your uh, history tracking limit in your Salesforce org. Just try this and let me know if you uh, find any issues or if you feel like it's working, that's well and good. If not, then we will have some different options. Cool, that's all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. Thank you.